Today we are going to sort the second bag of the Rossi English paper piecing pack. It's going to cover blocks C8 through C13. So I'm going to get my book and set this. Oops. And we're going to dump these pieces out. This is C8. And then as I sort these out, I'm going to keep these like I do in the past. I'm going to pile them on similar size and check the size as I go. Oh, those are too big. And so I need something slightly smaller, which happens to be this one. So as I sort these out, I will pull my pieces for C8 out of the bag. So I've been working on finding my pieces and you've got these little kite pieces that are going to fit right here in the corners. And then you've got these triangles. Now these are not the normal 90 degree triangles that you're used to seeing. They have, and because they're not 90 degree triangles, they have a left hand and a right hand. So if I put this here like this, oops. Okay, but let me see if I can flip it the other way. Because you have to check to see if they're equal. Okay, so they are equal. So never mind, they're not left hand, right hand. But you want to make sure that you uh, check that kind of thing. So I'm going to lay these out. I have got my little kites here. I've got bunches of pieces in this bag has Lines of these little half inch squares for another block in this row. So I will uh, continue to lay out my pieces. So I found all my pieces and put them in their proper location. Now it's a matter of labeling each one as C8. So now it's a matter of marking which one is the focus fabric. So I'm going to mark the focus fabric with a dot, and that is the plaid print in the photo. So that's going to be all of the outer pieces. And then the triangles surrounding the center square. And then these little kite pieces on the corners are focus fabric as well. And that leaves the center square and these other triangles as background fabric. If you have a directional fabric, now is the time to indicate that before you put it in your bag. But I do not, as I'm using solids for this particular colorway. So I am going to bag this up and move on to the next block. So next is C9. C9 is... Um, has a modified when I labeled them so we're gonna to go to the booklet and in case you didn't label it this point you would be digging out for a uh, four and a half inch block and there isn't one so I'm gonna to go to the booklet and this is why it's because they've taken this and splitting it up into four large triangles so I want to make sure that I get the right size ones and then there's four of these little teardrop deals in the bag. So let me lay those out. So I'm going to label this as C9. And this is a background section. So if your background's directional for some reason, it's going to be critical to label these. But since mine is not, I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> when I made this the first time, it was, and excuse me, I'm sorry, this is focus fabric here, and this is background there. So if your focus fabric is directional, you're going to want to do that. So I'm going to put the dots on the triangles, apparently. And this is why I double check. So. 
I will worry about lining everything up when I go to assemble, but this is enough all I need to do for block prep to get the fabric attached. So I will bag this up and move on to C10. C10 is also a modified block, so we're going to work from the booklet, and personally, yay, because I don't want to deal with all the little, little tiny pieces. There's a few less little tiny pieces in the booklet. So looks to me like we've got some of these half inch squares going here, and then you've got this octagon in the middle, and so I will get to laying my pieces out and the little corners here and there was something I wanted to say these okay so the bars that go here and here there's a whole bunch of bars in this bag but they're not all the same thickness so you want to make sure that you get the right thickness for these so these are going to be the thicker ones to go on the C10 block. The thinner one is for one of the other blocks. So just make sure of that as you're putting these on. Okay, so all the wider bars are on this block and all the thinner bars are set aside for another one. So I will label these C10 if I can do this without moving every one of these. So now I have to label the focus fabrics. So I'm gonna look at the picture and it's mostly background. So the focus fabrics are gonna be the little squares in the outer level layer, whatever you wanna call it. Keeping this from moving has been an issue. And then this one, this bar touching the octagon And then you have a choice. In here, they had these little pieces be focus fabric on the inside as well. And they've taken that out for this. So I'm gonna leave this like this. The only other option I could do is make these be focus fabric, but then you're gonna have, if you do that, you're gonna have all of this is gonna be focus fabric around the octagon, but it's up to you. I'm personally gonna leave mine just like that and move on to the next block. So C11 is the next one. So here's where we're going to use the thinner bars. And you've got pie pieces and the center ports. And I've separated those earlier into piles. So I will place them as I go. And I think there's two sizes of this bar. Yeah. So we'll get these all laid out. So I've got all the pieces laid out. I do have some extra bars. These seem to all be the same size, but they're too short for any of the pieces on the outside. So just be aware of that at this point. And now I will label my C11 pieces. So not all my pieces are labeled. And then my focus fabric pieces are gonna be the center circle, so all four of these quarters. And then the outer pie pieces. So all of the curved, with outside curved pieces should be focus fabric. And then all of the outer rectangles also are focus fabric. That leaves the background pieces only to be these uh, pieces with two inside curves. So. Mark your directional at this point if you have a directional fabric, and I will move on to C12. So now we're on to C12, and C12 is where you're going to use all these little half inch squares. So I'm going to take my pile of half inch squares and start laying them out. Whoops. Minus the dog hair. And then I've got squares over here. Got four of these, yes. One, two, three, four. There's five left, so I'm gonna check to make sure they're all the same size, which they're not. So that one's smaller, that one's larger. And then this one 
So in theory, that one's larger, and these are these are all the same size. But I'm going to check every one of them just to be sure, because even though it's the way it should be, if I made a mistake earlier, it may show now. So these are all the same size. I will put these where they live and lay out all my little tiny, tiny squares. Just a point of note to make this easier. I'm right-handed, and so as such, it's going to be a lot easier, especially with all these little pieces, to work from the upper left-hand corner across and then down so that you're not getting your hand in it because originally I started down here and I kept getting my hand in it. So as I go through here, I will work my way in the rows down. So we got those all in place and there are 49 pieces for this block. This is the uh, block with the most pieces in the entire quilt. So I'm going to label each one C12. So now I've got them all labeled and I will mark my focus fabric. My focus fabric is going to be in the form of an X in the nine patch blocks. So you've got each nine patch has an X of focus fabric in it. And then the large squares, whoops, I want to be able to be clear. The large squares are going to be background along with the remainder of the little squares in the nine patch. Mark your directional fabrics if you have any, and I will put this in a baggie and move on to the last block of this bag. C13 is the final block of this bag, but it is a modified block, so we will go to the booklet to work on this. It's just been adjusted so that this isn't so complicated. We've got big um, half square triangles with bars in it. So this is obviously our center, and then these are all the bars that go around the center, and then the triangles and then the little triangles and then the big triangles. So we will get to, I probably shouldn't have dumped those out right there, but we will get to placement. So I've got my pieces laid out where they belong and it is time to label each piece with C13. So those are all labeled now and it's time to mark the pieces. Now, the center is focus fabric and the outer bits are background. So then that means that these half square triangles pointing in towards the square are focus fabric and the outside bars are focus fabric. And then this is background. So we've got background on the outside four. In the half square triangle units, the outer bit is background. And in the double bar bits, the inner bar is background. And the center is focus fabric. Mark for your directional fabrics if you have one. And this concludes the second bag sort of the row C EPP pack.